airport boys, Dublin here we come! On the 3rd of June in Dublin, Ireland, I went to the UFC 303 press conference, Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler, and this is what happened. <laughs> Tweeting at Dana, asking Dana, Dana, what the fuck's going on with the with the Mystic Mac? And then we were out having fucking drinks with a forged Irish. Step. Big news broke over the weekend: the UFC 303 press conference between Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler has been postponed. Well, I've made it to Dublin. We're in Dublin. The press conference is cancelled. I've had a stinker, mate. I've had an absolute stinker. <laughs> I spent, I spent too much money getting in. Right boys, I'm jogging on now. I'll catch you in a bit. I'm going to explore Dublin. So after spending all that money and time getting to Dublin, there was no way I wasn't having a drink or two. And after drowning my sorrows, I thought to myself, why don't we just go find Conor McGregor? So I called an Uber and down my pint, ready to go. Hello there, I'm Aidan O'Connolly. I'll be your Uber driver today. And I was like, yo, take me to the Black Forge, yeah. No thing, buddy. Why'd you go in like that, man? Not nah, a reason, lad. You just plump. You're not good. Are you? Ah, it's safety not guaranteed. I can handle myself, so I got in the Uber and off we went to the Black Forge. It's the Aldo built. Oh. 145. 12 to the 12, 2015. Conor McGregor done it all in 13 seconds. Conor reckons he done it in 12, so I'm not arguing with Conor. Hi boys, I have no idea what's happening. The press conference is uh, cancelled, postponed, cancelled. I'm at the Black Forge Inn, I've just had some uh, food, I've just had some drinks, and then I've come out and uh, all these people have come with cameras and I know some kind of something's happening, something's happening outside. So this guy who walks past, he becomes pretty important, so we'll get back to him in a bit. The bouncer guy came out and then uh, loads of camera guys are here. I didn't, didn't know what's going on. I'm going to hang around for a bit, see what happens. Might just be some promo for uh, Forward Stout. But he might be on his way. The, the main guy might be here. Do you know what's happening, mate? What? Are they doing promo or something? For... No idea. <laughs> oh, you start. You started just. Yeah, yeah. I've just come out. I've just come out. Nice food. Nice food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bouncer, don't know what's happening. So you remember this guy? Well, as soon as the camera turned off, he approached me and he wanted to have a little chat. He lives in the local area. In fact, he lived round the corner from the Black Forge Inn and he wanted to tell me some things in confidence. And he was telling me that 
Conor McGregor's Bentley was, which pulls up quite often to the Black Forge Inn, it was left overnight over the weekend, and then someone came pick it up Monday morning. He wasn't sure if it was Conor McGregor, but sometimes he says that other people come pick up his car. Um, now this is, uh, this just confirms everything that everyone's been saying. And then his favor went on to say that uh, there's Snapchats that go round Ireland and in those Snapchats, a lot of things that don't make it to the mass media of Conor McGregor partying, doing things that he shouldn't be doing. And you know, all the things that we're suspecting going into UFC 303. And I know that uh, Dana White has addressed this and says that Conor McGregor's the master of mental warfare. He's on levels with Muhammad Ali. Ali, Conor, both n level when it comes to mental warfare. Well, let me tell you, this is absolute bullshit. I spoke to several people in the area. They all confirmed the same thing that Conor McGregor is out partying. He's on sessions, he's on benders, he's doing all the all the kind of drugs that we, we think he's on. Um, yeah, it's not looking good going into UFC 303. He's treating his missus like she's from the streets. She belongs to the streets. He called. Now, I spoke to a lot of people in Ireland and not a lot of people had anything good to say about Conor McGregor. A lot of them said he does not represent us. That is, that is the word from Ireland. I went to a bar called River Bar prior to going to the Black Forge Inn. I spoke to the guys there and he said, uh, why are you going to that kip? Um, shit old, disgusting house. Uh, why are you going over to, to find Connor? He's an absolute wreck. When I told him that the press conference was off, they all jumped for joy. I mean, they were, they were excited about it. They said, oh, thank God. And I got in a taxi on the way back from the Black Forge Inn and again, spoke to a great guy. Uh, didn't want to be recorded, didn't want to go on film uh, for reasons that they, they live in the local area where Connor is and they know people that know Connor, so they didn't really want to go on camera and commit to this. So uh, I'm leaving him out. And I know that sucks for you guys. You've only got me to believe my word as, as what's being said, but I'm not Jesse on fire. I'm not a clip baiting liar. Uh, this is absolutely ground zero. What the fans of Ireland think, the average guy in Ireland was speaking to me. They all had a lot to say on the matter and they've all seen it with their own eyes. People in the local area around the Black Forge have seen Conor McGregor partying on sessions, big sessions, doing things that you shouldn't be doing. Things going around the Snapchat circles in Ireland that we're not seeing in the media. Let me tell you something. They try and cover it up. They're not talking about it. Daniel Cormier let slip a little bit that the, 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 there's something going on that they're not they're not letting out. You know some secrets? Are you keeping a secret over there? I have no secrets, bro. Oh, you are I a liar. I can I've tell. Never and I love Ben Askren here. He puts Daniel Cormier on the spot. And you can tell by his face, he closes up. He starts giggling and laughing. He knows what's going on. In my life, seen, I've never seen my, my contacts more secretive than they've been this week in regards to this, bro. It's crazy. Nobody wants to say anything. They know that Conor McGregor's a problem right now. Dana White is sweating bullets because he doesn't know if Conor McGregor is going to turn up to UFC 303. That's why they've committed to a backup fight. Alexander Volkanovsky is the weird that's going to be the backup fight for Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler. Is he even going to turn up to UFC 303? Well, the people of Ireland confirm that he is on massive sessions every weekend. He leaves his uh, Bentley, his car at the Black Forge Inn while he's going on massive sessions. It is not a joke. It's not mental warfare that Dana White's trying to convince you of. The UFC are looking at a backup fight for UFC 303. If they were that confident that it was mental warfare, why are they getting a backup fight ready in case Conor McGregor pulls out? The UFC 303 press conference was cancelled. Expect more to happen in the next few weeks. But in my opinion, Conor McGregor is not making it to UFC 303. That is why they've got a backup fight. And if he does make it to UFC 303... Michael Chandler is going to stomp on his head and put his lights out, and that will be the end of Conor McGregor's career. Tell me what you think. Drop a comment. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Here's to the fighters, the fans on the game. Here's to the blood, sweat, and tears on the fame. And here's to Az and Key, you're ready to go on the brutally honest MMA show.